And now, a word from my sponsor. He said it. I didn't. In the center of your screen is a Moringa tree. That's number two of the same species, three, four, and on the right, number five. And of course, lovely mountains in the background. The Bible says, I lift my eyes up unto the mountains. Where does my help come from? And the answer is, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Well, he's the one that put the properties in the Moringa tree, uh, specifically in the leaves of the Moringa tree um, that are the basis for this shake that I'm about to show you how to make. This is fresh basil in the garden, and I'll take some of the uh, uh, seed pods and also the leaves. I just uh, snapped them off. I suppose you can buy fresh basil in the uh, produce section, but uh, this is my favorite way. I know there's no uh, pesticides on this, and they're very healthy. I broke off some Moringa branches. There on the far right, the small, young, and tender uh, plant is not bitter. The, the uh, medium green is a little bit more uh, towards bitter and the dark green is quite bitter. I'm not sure which one contains the best health benefits so I use a blend in my shake. The leaves have already been washed so I peeled them uh, stripped them, I should say, from the branches. There's the peeled and stripped branch, number one. Uh, I set the middle one aside. I don't know where that is. And then there's the big one. And I left some of the uh, leaves on because really using too much of the bitter one, uh, the, the bitter leaves, makes this not as good. A uh, little bit tough to the palate. Of course, you need a blender, and I'll just pour in about 250 ml of basil tea left over from yesterday, but you could use water. It's uh, graduated on the side there. You can see that's about 250 ml, eight ounces. And to that, we then add our freshly rinsed leaves, and then we'll blend it. I will blend it, I guess. Uh, but if you're at home, you will do the same. Meanwhile, the main ingredient that goes in there is bananas. Uh, I'll let this thing run so you can get an idea of the actual time that it takes to do this. It doesn't take long. This recipe calls for three or four bananas. So I've got about three and a half there. And uh, one raw egg. If uh, you don't like the idea of using a raw egg, then uh, no need. So I'll put the egg in. And this is a blend right here of spirulina and oat bran and brewer's yeast. Um, and there's about one tablespoon of each. Put the cover back on. And I'll blend that. While that's working, I'll just shoot the bananas in there. And then we'll kick that on up to, to a high speed and let it go for a minute. And maybe let the bananas settle to the bottom and like that. And that's it. It's now blended, and I'll pour it into my favorite cup, shake-sized cup, 
and there you have it it's about 750 or 800 ml and it's quite delicious to me have a nice day